Hello, my name is Elizabeth Sinclair, and today we're going to make this pretty little birthday card. Okay, I made this one. Oh, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Here's my website. <laughs> almost forgot how I start. How I always start these. <laughs> okay, I'm using this. I'm telling you. What, oh, you know what? I need more light in here, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's like eight o'clock at night, so the sun's kind of going down a bit. So here's my card. And then I used this beautiful balloons for the happy birthday and also the idea. <laughs> the paper is from the paper pack 6x6 that coordinates with this. Beautiful balloons and then of course the dies. Alright? And the pretty little acetate paper, which I have. Here's a scrap of it, because we're gonna use this one this. Not that you can see it. Well, you can kind of in the light. Yeah. It's really cool. It's got all the, I don't know what you call it, little ribbons and dots and stuff like celebration. But I'm going to put them behind the balloons. So they're kind of a cool little thing. There you go. See? Okay. How I did that. This is Azure Afternoon. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Azure? Azure. I think it's Azure. Okay. Azure Afternoon. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay. Make sure this is nice. Sometimes when I get ready for a video, I don't always do that. So, there. Then, <clears throat> a piece of six by six from that paper pack I just explained. And it's right here. And you're going to cut this one at four, four by five and a quarter. Because this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Get it? Quarter difference. And then I took dies and I put them in strategic places and taped them down and ran through my die cut machine. Like this. Doesn't matter what order you put them in, but I wanted to separate them a bit so that I had openings in which to put the acetate. So I'm just going to take these apart right now because I did do this before I started the video. And this tape is awesome. This is the <clears throat> post-it note tape that I got from my buddy Lisa. She's the uh, demonstrator signed up underneath. And doo -doo -doo. she has wonderful ideas. Although one thing I'm not doing is putting it on my die cut machine because that's the glue kind of stays there and it and you gotta clean it off and I'm like nah I'll put it on here first or uh, sometimes I'll put it on a glass block that I'm not using that works too <clears throat> anyways grab I've got three little balloons with stats on them that I can use for another idea <laughs> okay we're gonna put these away okay now, acetate. <laughs> now, for this one, I kind of just stuck it right back here and did it that way. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to waste it. So, what I'm going to do is take my ruler, one of my rulers, and measure. So, this is about mm, a little over two inches by... Um, two and a half. Uh, yeah. How about, so I'm going to cut this two and a half by two and three quarters. Two and a half. Yeah, by two and three quarters. Because that will go behind this first one. This one probably will go behind here. And then I'll do a little one for that. And that's about, let me see here, <coughs> one and a half by 
one one and a quarter. So we'll just go one and a half here. Sometimes it's easier to use my scissors on this stuff. Put a little circle behind it and lay that on top of the circle like that. Now this one I think I don't need all that. I'm going to let the glue dry a few minutes because I have to work on my sentiment. How I did this was the um, Salad Shapes circle. I was going to use a balloon. This one's too big for that to put on this card. This one doesn't really fit it. So I figured I'd just do a circle. And this one I believe is the third circle from the tiniest. I think, yep. And I'm going to use the blue azure ink too. paper. <laughs> Blue azure, I mean azure afternoon. I'm thinking maybe this isn't big enough, but it is. Like that. Okay. And this go through the die cut machine. Just for not cutting this ahead of time. I don't know. I just kind of rushed, I guess. There. We're using the tape. Now, with this, I'm going to put on my dimensions. will go right here in this corner. Now this has to get, be um, adhered to the card. 
which will also help secure that little bits of acetate here. But you know what? I kind of like that. Matching up on top and bottom and then being a little bit of a... I like that better because we're, we're flush here and then we got a little bit of color on these sides. Okay. Last minute touch. I have some balloons. Here's one in... <clears throat> the red color. Alright, this is... Still trying to learn the colors, so I'll be honest with you. It's berry burst. Yeah, that's berry burst. And then this one is the uh, blueberry bushel. And I had a lemon lolly somewhere around here. And I'm not sure where I put it. Oh well. I only had two on that one anyway. I guess I was deciding what colors I was going to use. Alright, we're going to dimensional these. Just to give it a little extra something. There. And here we go. This card. And here's the original. Thank you for watching.